sizzle for the upcoming work week ahead. So during the upcoming or during this weekend, we felt an uptick in the heat and the humidity. High temperatures on Saturday as well as today were in the mid to upper 80s. Some places were even flirting with 90 degrees this afternoon. And we also started to feel an uptick in the humidity as well. So this afternoon definitely feels a little bit more sticky outside. And the heat and the humidity will continue to build into northeast Ohio. So we are going to be tracking a hot stretch of weather to kick off the upcoming work week. So let's talk about exactly how hot it's going to be and how hot it is going to feel. High temperatures on Monday will be in the upper 80s, if not near 90 degrees. But those feels like temperatures once again will be in the lower 90s. It still looks like Tuesday is going to be the hottest day this week. And that's the day this week where we don't want to overdo it outside. The thermometer alone will read temperatures near or above 90 degrees, but your body once again is going to tell you that it's going to feel much hotter than that thanks to the humidity. So it feels like temperatures could come close to near 100 degrees. I wouldn't be completely surprised if some counties across northern Ohio were in a heat advisory or an excessive heat warning by Tuesday afternoon. Still not going to see much relief from the heat or the humidity on Wednesday. Highs on Wednesday will still be in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees with feels like temperatures in the mid 90s. Now the coolest day this week and I'm putting kind of like a parenthesis around cool is that it's still not going to be very cool. But Thursday will be the coolest day this week, even though it's still going to be very warm. A high of 85 with feels like temperatures once again in the upper 80s. So we're going to be tracking a lot of heat and a lot of humidity over the next several days. And for the most part, it is going to be rather dry as well. So let's talk about this hot and humid weather pattern. Well, what's going to be the main driving force for our weather through at least Wednesday will be this upper level ridge or this area of high pressure in the middle of the atmosphere. A lot of people refer to this type of weather pattern as the heat dome because the air under this area of high pressure tends to be very hot and we could see the potential for some record breaking heat across other parts of the country um, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So we're talking about a lot of heat going to build into some parts of the country for the first half of the upcoming work week. Now this upper level ridge will not exactly be planted over northeast Ohio. So that chance of rain and storms looks like it's going to be low over the next several days, but it won't be exactly zero. Maybe a few rain showers and thunder showers will be possible Monday afternoon for places mainly east of 77, but perhaps a slightly higher chance of rain and storms could come sometime late Tuesday into Wednesday. So during this time, we are going to see an upper level disturbance maybe team up with a weak cold front that's going to move across the upper Midwest or the Great Lakes. Now, I still do believe the highest chance for showers and storms will likely remain off to our north Tuesday into Wednesday, but there is the potential we could see a cluster of heavy rain as well as some stronger storms impact some parts of Northeast Ohio late Tuesday into Wednesday, but the confidence in this cluster of storms impacting the area as of right now does look like it's going to be pretty low. And once again, I do believe the higher chance for showers and storms will likely stay just off to our north to at least the middle of the week. Now this stretch of really hot and humid weather, it is not going to last all week long or it's not going to last for the entire eight day forecast. Friday into Saturday, here comes a cold front that's going to drop south across the area. This front will likely bring in our next best chance for showers and storms. So scattered to perhaps numerous rain showers and storms will be possible late Friday into Saturday as this cold front pushes through. Then behind the front, we will be tracking some cooler and drier air. So the unofficial end of summer, which is Labor Day, is not exactly going to feel like summer. In fact, high temperatures on Monday may only be in the mid to upper 70s. And I'll have a sneak peek at Labor Day coming up in your eight day forecast in just a few minutes. Out there right now, we are certainly feeling the heat and the humidity. Look at Mansfield sitting there at 90 degrees right now. Akron Canson's at 84, Cleveland's at 87, and Ashtabula's at 80 degrees. Not only is it very warm, if not hot outside, but we are definitely feeling the humidity. These dew point temperatures are in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees right now. So we're getting awfully close to that oppressive zone in our, in our muggy meter. Do you remember this past previous week? When we saw those dew point temperatures fall in the 40s, 
that was some very dry air. Now we're seeing that moisture build back into northeast Ohio with that southerly flow, and this humidity is going to be sticking around with us for all week long. In fact, we could see dew point temperatures at times climb well above 70 degrees. So we're talking about very thick air, very air that you could pretty much cut with a knife with the high humidity levels. So dew point temperatures as well as the high humidity levels will likely be with us all week long. So it is going to feel very comfortable outside all week long from a humidity standpoint. So not much in the way from a break from the heat or the humidity this week, unless you do see some showers and storms as well as some clouds. Out there right now, we're not seeing much in the way of rain or storms across the area, but you do see a few spots of green dropping to the south across northeast Ohio, especially just off to the north of New Philly. Even some spots of yellow, which, in, which is an indication of maybe a quick pocket of moderate rain. This is as good as our rain chances we'll get this evening. You notice the coverage very small. Much of the area not going to need the rain gear this evening. For the most part, it is going to be dry this evening and a bit toasty. Temperatures will likely stay above 80 degrees through at least 8 o'clock this evening. Then temperatures will slowly drop to the 70s. So here's feature cast at 6 o'clock this evening, doing a pretty good job, just showing a few rain showers and downpours trying to develop, but that coverage of rain is going to be pretty low. Probably looking at a higher chance of rain, which still is not very high, south of 76. By midnight tonight, we should be dry. Still the potential for one or two rain showers overnight into Monday morning. And once again, for Monday, the heat and the humidity will be the rule and a rain will be the exception. Still the potential for maybe a few rain showers or thunder showers that could develop mainly east of 77 tomorrow afternoon. But once again, look at the coverage. Much of the area is going to stay dry tomorrow. That chance of rain is pretty much as low as it goes without officially being zero. Then we could be tracking a few more showers and storm chances as we head towards the middle of the week. But once again, that chance of rain looks low. For tonight, overnight lows will be in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Overall, it is going to be a warm and muggy night. For tomorrow, my forecast high 89 degrees. Temperatures will quickly warm through the 70s tomorrow morning. By lunchtime, we could be as high as 85 degrees with feels like temperatures near 90 degrees by noon. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees Monday afternoon with those feels like temperatures once again in the low to middle 90s. Here's your eight day forecast and for the next several days summer is going to be in full force. Highs Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday upper 80s if not near 90 degrees. 85 on Thursday then we'll be back in the upper 80s for Friday. That cold front will bring in our best chance for showers and storms this week. Then behind the front look at that cooler air moving into northeast Ohio. 78 degrees on Saturday, 80 degrees on Sunday, then 75 on Monday. It does look like Labor Day is going to be a cooler summer day. Also going to be rather comfortable with highs in the mid to upper 70s. There is that slim chance of rain on Saturday, but right now any chance of rain over the Labor Day holiday weekend looks like it's going to be Saturday morning. So Saturday afternoon should be dry and Sunday and Monday should be dry as well. For the most part, we are expecting pre a pretty dry eight day forecast. Perhaps the highest chance of rain once again will come um, Friday into Saturday as that cold front pushes through. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you stay cool for the upcoming work week. And right now it does look like that Labor Day holiday weekend is going to be pretty nice. Plenty of sunshine and much more comfortable than the work week ahead. I hope you have a great week. Um, I hope you have a great week ahead and don't forget you can always get the latest forecast on fox8.com and of course you get the latest forecast coming up on Fox 8 News at 6 as well as at 10 o'clock this evening. I hope to see you then.